Um, I actually would like to start off by saying that I don't regard the tradition that I've been in for all my life, uh, the Labour Party in Britain, as having anything to do with Stalinism or what happened in the Soviet Union. I'm a democratic socialist and I think that the vision that I have uh, is, is of five values for the way that we renew socialism in our country and those values uh, in no particular order are liberty, democracy, equality, uh, cooperation and internationalism and I don't think Stalinism had a lot to do with any of that. And so I think the only future for socialism is as democratic socialists within a democratic system arguing that what I call in the book not neoliberalism because that liberalism sounds like a good thing. I argue in the book that we've suffered from 40 years of market fundamentalism, a fundamentalist belief that markets are the only way to make any decision, that the price mechanism is the only way to choose any priority, and that somehow you cannot have uh, the collective intervention via an empowering state to create a society that's more civilised, where people have more opportunities, that's fairer, that achieves liberation for women, uh, for people with disabilities, for, that, that avoids prejudice and discrimination against people who are in the minority. The kind of society that I've always wanted to build as a socialist. So I think we have to get away from this idea that there's an authoritarian, uh, anti-democratic, democratic centralist, sort of Russian communist way to a nirvana. That's always been a dead end. And when the Berlin Wall fell, that was the end of that kind of communistic uh, view, in my view. And so we've got to forge a different way, and that is about how we transform a society that is a democracy with a functioning market by putting the market in its proper place and asserting the primacy of a collective vision of the direction we want our society to go in. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.